All right, this is going to be a little techie kind of video, but I want to share with you how I build these portable Bluetooth speakers utilizing a subwoofer. And it all has to do with the tweeter crossover points. And I want to show you on a chart online how I determine uh, crossover points. Keep in mind, this is a dual 4 ohm woofer. You got 4 ohms on the left side and you got 4 ohms on the right side. So let's go over here to the computer and look at the chart online here. And right now I have a 50 microfarad capacitor in there. If you go over here, it's a thousand hertz because I'm on a 4 ohm system. So it's about a thousand hertz crossover. And that's all fine and dandy, but how do you knock the power levels down? Well, the way you do that is with these resistors you can get on Amazon for a couple bucks each. This is a 100 watt resistor, 47 ohms of resistance. And what this does is that I parallel the output of the amplifier into here, parallel it over on the positive side, knock the power level down, and then I use a capacitor like this 100 volt up to 100 volts 50 microfarad which is a thousand Hertz crossover and as you can see this has got two indentations on it this side and this side that means that it's non polarized like I said this gets a little bit techy but you can find these parts Express Amazon um, simply speakers website um, you know look for the best price and you'll be good to go. And that's all it is. I just, the tweeter's right here. So you got positive coming off the left side of the woofer, goes through the resistor, knocks the, the frequency down to roll over to 1,000 and feeds the tweeter. And to me, that makes the best sound, you know, uh, for this particular build. But to each their own, everybody has different uh, ears, and how they hear things, different environments, yakety schmackety. But uh, that's all it is to it. Keep it simple. Now there is a lot more science and engineering involved with crossovers, with tweeters, inductance, and, and all kinds of stuff. This is just a simple, you know, backyard, garage, you know, do-it-yourself for kind of way to balance them out a little bit so you get nice, clean, clear sound. And that's the whole objective is to make it sound good and play well so there you have it hopefully this helps you and we'll see you next time